Okay, in this video I'm going to switch from the 2014 theme which the site is currently using to a Genesis child theme that I like called News Pro. Now, to use a child theme from Genesis you have to install the Genesis framework first. So let's do that. Click, I'm going to click on Add New and then on Upload and then choose File and I want Genesis this is the latest version at the time of recording this video 2.02 .02. once you click the install button um, you'll get this message now um, Genesis framework you can use as a theme in its own right and we can have a look at that but we don't actually have to activate this because we want to use the child theme and we'll be activating the child theme but we can have a quick look and you'll see what the Genesis theme looks like on its own and out of the box it's not that pretty so let's go back we're going to oops, click on the add new button we're going to upload the news pro theme find it where I've got it here we go news pro and notice I'm just uploading the zip file when you install themes that come as zip files you typically just upload the zip file from here and there is another way of doing it you can use FTP and you can unzip the files and then um, FTP the whole folder back up to your themes folder on the website but this is a lot easier okay, I'm going to activate it and this now has activated the child theme which you'll see is different from here we go it's different from the theme we just saw now I'm, at the moment I'm using a small screen size here so the sidebar menus um, are down the bottom what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause the video exp and expand the um, screen so you can actually see the sidebars okay when you make this switch initially and you can actually see the sidebar you'll see that it's a little bit messed up we've got the search box up here we've got a recent post widget which was in the left sidebar on the 2014 and the categories widget which was um, on, in the left sidebar on the 2014 up in the header area we've also got a note here saying the primary sidebar widget area because there are no primary sidebar widgets if we go over to have a look at the widgets you'll see that the ones that we had are in the header right area which is this area over here and that's why it's looking a little bit weird now the reason they're up there is that when we switch between templates uh, or rather I should say when we switch between themes WordPress will try to put the widgets in what they think is the correct place um, if there's no widget area with this exact same name then they have to guess and put, it, put them where they think I can simply change this I can put the recent posts down here just by dragging and the categories and then if we refresh these two should have moved down into the sidebar and they have the search box is still up there and I actually don't want it up there I want that in the sidebar as well so this is now what it looks like okay so you can now see the sidebar is in the correct position the one thing we haven't got is we haven't got the menu at the top so I need to just go over to the menus area over the appearance sidebar go to manage locations and I want to put the legal menu at the top and if I go back now and refresh we'll see at the top here we've now got the legal menu okay there's one more change I want to do at the moment you can see here the rapid WP sites is not flush with the tagline down here it's it's uh, indented a little bit and this if you're new to Word, um, to HTML and CSS you might find this a little bit tricky but I'm using Google Chrome here and if you press F12 on Google Chrome and then click on the little magnifying glass here you can actually inspect areas of your page and if I go up and now inspect that header area I can see down here the details for it and I can see it's the hyperlink to the home page and if I move up one or out to find the class it, it um, find the paragraph tags that are surrounding it I can see the class site title I'm going to just click on that 
and then over on this side I can see all the information that's related to that class title and I can see here down the bottom that there's this padding if you look at this up diagram up here you'll see the shading as I move my mouse over the padding of 40 pixels on the left and on the right now I want to get rid of that and if I scroll up here I can I can actually find that here it's under header width sorry header full width title area header full width site title and just copy the first bit of that okay now watch what happens at the moment it's using all the CSS for the styling of the, of the site but if I uncheck the padding you see how the title now goes flush so that's what I need to do in the style sheet I told you it was a little bit technical but let's go over and I'll show you how to do that under appearance we go down to editor and don't forget I've just copied the first bit of that so I can find what I want and we want to load the style sheet which is already loaded clicking on there and I'm going to press F3 to open the search box and paste in my text that I'm going to search for and I can see here the two sections okay now what I'm going to do is comment out and a comment is a forward slash oops, forward slash asterisk and then go to the end asterisk forward slash and I'm going to update the file now what that's done is it's what that has done is it's commented out the padding so now if I go back and refresh my site let's close that if I go back and refresh the site we should find the title now is flush which it is okay so that's all I wanted to do for the site at the moment and have a quick look around everything else is in place and working properly go to the tutorials we should find the tutorial there's only one tutorial there at the moment okay so that is the news pro child theme and it's just a very basic setup at the moment I may well do some more and show you some more tutorials with this theme but for now that's the theme that this site is using and that's how I switched